welcome back to my channel my name is melissa if you've never been here before thank you so much for watching today before i get into it don't forget to subscribe to my channel i put out videos week ish if i have the chance today is a very scary day for me because as you can see from the title i am starting the process of getting my tattoo removed so why am i doing this i'm about to get a little bit vulnerable so bear with me a couple of years ago i was in a pretty shit relationship it was really toxic it changed me a lot i didn't like who i turned into after this relationship and it's taken a long time for me to get back to myself and how I want to be in a relationship. It's helped me kind of be myself and learn a lot about myself and how I am in relationships and how you shouldn't be in relationships. Um, but in this time period, I was really sad a lot, really, really, really and so i saw this thing on, i don't remember where it was maybe like pinterest or something i was 16 17 at the time and i saw this thing on pinterest about how an arrow symbolizes that you can only shoot it forward by pulling it back so when life is pulling you back with difficulties it's going to shoot you into something great so I saw that and just like something in my head just was like, yes, I like that. That's how I'm feeling right now. So I spent a couple years wearing a lot of arrow related things. I had an arrow necklace for a while, rings. I wore a Tiffany arrow necklace for probably two years. It's something that stuck with me for a really long time that was really meaningful to me. So when I turned 18, I went out and I got my arrow tattoo that is right here. So this is my arrow tattoo. As you can see, it's fading really weird here. There's a lot of like, it's really thick here. I'll put the Enso picture right here if I still have it. Um, but I can't. I went to this place where I'm from and I went to a tattoo shop that had really great reviews. A lot of people that I knew had gotten tattoos here and I just kind of, I didn't research any of the artists. I was just like, I want a tattoo today. And they were like, okay, sit over there. We'll have the next available artist. And I was like, great. <laughs> so that's what I did. And at the time I really loved it. It was really great. You know, I felt really empowered. I was like, I have this and it's a reminder that things get better because it did. I, By the time I was 18, I was out of the relationship. I was a lot stronger than I was. I knew what I deserved. I wasn't sad like I was anymore. So I was like, it's a great time to get it. I'm finally 18. I can actually go and get it. So my mom came with me and she was not happy about it. But just because she didn't want me to get any tattoos in the first place. But so yeah, I got this and it's been four years now since I've gotten this. And how I look at it has changed a lot. When I was younger, I looked at it like things get better. Remind yourself that things get better. But now I look at it and it reminds me more of why I was so sad and that I was so so depressed because of something that I let take over me and I'm not proud of that and I know that I shouldn't be ashamed of you know my struggles and what I've been through and I'm not ashamed of it it's just I no longer want this reminder that I was in that place and it was because of a stupid boy who hurt me and friends who hurt me and how hard high school was and things that I lost in the process. So I want it off. I have been thinking about it for a while and you know, I was really nervous to kind of start going through with it, but I was like, you know what? I have the means to do it now. I don't want to 
I, I don't want to have this on my wedding day. I don't want to look at pictures of a beautiful wedding and whatever and have a reminder of an ex-boyfriend and why I was so sad for so long in all my pictures. So, and not that I'm getting married anytime soon. Disclaimer. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to get this baby taken off of me. It's gonna take a couple processes, obviously, so I'm just gonna start it now. Um, it's February 12th, and my appointment is in about an hour, so I'm gonna have some breakfast, brunch, whatever, and then we're gonna go. Um, so I will kind of vlog the process as much as possible. I'm kind of weird about like vlogging in front of people, but yeah. It's starting today. I I don't think it'll take more than five processes to get this taken off. I hope, because it's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's pretty expensive, but I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to not have a reminder that I was just sad and I don't want that on my body anymore. Yeah, that's why I'm getting my tattoo removed. Now that my whole long spiel is out, I'm going to go have lunch and I will see you in a little while. I did it! It hurt! But I did it. It's gonna take, how long do you say? 14, 14 months. 14 months. Cause you do, the first three sessions are month, 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 and then the next three are every other month. And he said that I wasn't gonna start seeing actual results until like the third time um but I'm very happy I'll show you guys what it looks like after it hurt it didn't feel good <laughs> but I'm happy I'm excited okay I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get home okay bye I'm back, I'm home, and it has started. So basically what the tattoo removal process is, is they, as you saw in the clip before from them doing it, they take a laser, they, they're breaking up the ink particles that is in a tattoo. So in your tattoo, your ink articles are, they referenced it as like big boulders. And basically the, the smaller, the pieces get the easier it is for your immune system to flush it out so it's gonna take six to nine treatments um, I'm hoping it won't be more than six um, just because it hurt <laughs> basically what it, it kind of feels like um, like a rubber band someone like popping you with a rubber band but imagine where they're popping you has like a thumbtack on it <laughs> it definitely does not feel good he said after like the third treatment, that's when you really start to see results. So I'm gonna take this off now and show you guys what it looks like. So she's a little bit swollen. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of swollen. Um, it looks the same. He said because there's parts that are less pigmented, those parts will start to fade first, and that's faster and first, and that's what I'll see first going down. But yeah, I'm really excited that I'm finally starting this, and I'm glad that I'm doing it, and I'm not putting it off anymore. So, I as I keep going, I'll keep you guys updated on how it looks, the process, all that good stuff. So, thank you guys so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like I said before, I put out videos almost every week, depending on my work schedule. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching.